So, ladies and gentlemen, today's topic is Ukrainian immigration outside Ukraine. Uh, if we are talking people who have had to leave Ukraine because they couldn't find less or more good job inside Ukraine, and they had uh, somewhere outside Ukraine, so it's Russia, first of all. And we are, if we are talking uh, Europe, it's on the first place Italy and second and third place is Spain and Portugal. Uh, I would like to, to, to tell more about those Ukrainians who toil in Italy, Spain and Portugal. I have a good friend, she's from Western Ukraine, she's from Russian. Uh, she had lived and worked in Italy for over 10 years. So she speaks perfect Italian in meaning uh, vocabulary, grammar, but she has very thick Ukrainian accent. Uh, once she mentioned talking to me about one funny situation when uh, she was working for one family, she was uh, a maid as far as I remember, and uh, sons, daughters and grandchildren of one lady who was, was her uh, boss, she uh, hired her for cleaning in her home. All, all family of this old lady were blaming uh, this woman for Ukrainian woman for speaking with uh, incorrect accent, with Ukrainian accent. An old lady uh, told them like, uh, stop bothering her because we have 25 dialects of Italian. We will have another one, 26 Ukrainian dialect of Italian. Uh, mostly Ukrainians who had to eat, they had to southern Italy because. Uh, maybe you know, maybe you don't know. South of Italy and north of Italy are two different worlds. Uh, Northern Italy it's mostly uh, rich. It's, it has no, it's, it has very low uh, rate of unemployment. It's the center of uh, Italian industry, trade. Uh, like most progressive things they happen in Northern Italy. Uh, Southern Italy it's mostly underdeveloped it's controlled by mafia the rate of unemployment is crazy high so all italians who seek better life and better jobs they head to north so because of that ukrainians who go to italy they replace locals in southern italy that's about italy let's talk a bit about portugal and spain if Ukrainian who works and lives in Spain for a while, he can face situations like uh, he will try to defend himself, like to prove that he has some rights. A local Spaniard can Spaniard can tell him like, get the hell out of here to your to your fucking Ukraine. Who the hell you are here? We are locals. If you don't like something, go back to Ukraine. Uh, I don't know what, I don't know why but in Portugal it will never happen Portuguese people are kinder they are more tolerant more respectful to, towards our people uh, if we will talk about prominent emigration like uh, for some to some other country like let's say Canada probably Canada is the number one dream of Ukrainians to in meaning of immigration uh, for more than 100 of years in Manitoba, in Canada, there is a huge Ukrainian community. Uh, I assume that in Winnipeg, every fourth or every third uh, last name is Ukrainian last name. And even nowadays, Ukrainians try to immigrate to Canada because of many reasons. Uh, probably it's the only one country on earth where Ukrainians live a happy life. Some people go to Australia, some people go to other countries of European Union, let's say Germany, Scandinavia, uh, Czech Republic, Poland. But most of Ukrainian people, they dream about immigration to Canada. Okay, guys, it was nice to talk to you again. See you. Bye.